Hey, Tim and Joel. I was listening. To, I was cooking last night, listening to Radio X in London, like some kind of worldly citizen. That's crazy oh, wow. talk. Yeah, they play songs with the guitars over there. It's all crazy. What? <laughs> I know. Did Coldplay? You should, no, no, rock. <laughs> <laughs> are we? Are you? Um, is that where we broadcast out of when we're over there for the King's Coronation? Oh yeah, we're doing um, <gasps> Eurovision King's Coronation next year, Ricky. Yeah, they're all because oh. they're is within a week of each other. Year? Yeah, at Eurovision yeah. too. They're just uh, t- two for one deal. <laughs> yeah, he's doing a three-minute <laughs> really number. He's representing the UK. <laughs> <laughs> and Camilla's just out, out the back doing. In a Camilla, was. she's wearing a Camilla. Yeah. I... I, I love Camilla. I think she's. I think she's got a lot to add. I think she's good fun. I, I'm. I'm bang up for a bit of Camilla. And I watched her in the documentary. In the early documentary, uh, The Crown, uh, Charles <laughs> and Camilla were actually kindred spirits. They they wanted to be with each other. It was the family that didn't allow it. Yeah. I mean, so, I love what? Diana too, but Camilla's very funny. I like. I like what I Is see she? of Camilla. And yeah, I yeah she's the one that watches them the like chuckling together, like oh. like losing it at something when they're not supposed to be laughing. I do love those. Movies. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think she's a bit naughty. I think she's a bit cheeky, yeah. Camilla. Um, let's keep yeah. it in the UK, though, Joel, because we are talking about mums mad oh. on the socials right now. And this is a... Um, well, I don't think people are talking about Liz Truss for much longer. Did you see that photo over the weekend uh, in the British press of Liz Truss, the British Prime Minister, next to a head of lettuce? And the headline was, which will last longer? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, she's in so much trouble, Liz Truss. <laughs> um, she fired her, um, oh, her, her... I forget the name, the, tre- the treasurer over the weekend. Weekend. She's in a heap of trouble with the economy. Um, but then turns out, if you go for a deep dive mm-hmm. on Liz Truss's Instagram, she's got a whole bunch of old photos <laughs> that she hasn't deleted. And I'm not saying they're inappropriate because they're not. They're just a bit bizarre. Yeah. So in one post from 2018, it's just a, a selfie of her in a ski mask, which I don't think you'd see another world leader <laughs> uploading, with the caption, snowflake, more like hashtag flaked out, hashtag, <laughs> hashtag cream crackered. <laughs> what? <laughs> cream <laughs> crackered? Cream crackered. Cream crackered. Yeah, I think it's okay. funny. I think it's funny too, but you just think maybe a social media advisor might have gone back through and deleted old posts. But no, they're still there. In another one, 2018, mm. she had a brewery holding a pint and with the caption, see, I can organise a piss up in a brewery. <laughs> oh, no. Because that's an old her? saying, yeah. Is, is yeah. this... Uh, are you, is she... Is that the caption on the post or is she commenting underneath the post? Because the, up the top there it says, Berry... Oh, I, I probably. I, I imagine she's not very good at social media, yes. so she's probably commenting mm. this. Commenting um, it and instead then, of making it the caption. And then I think the weirdest one. In 2019, she dressed as a devil for Hall- Halloween, declared Halloween. herself a Swifty, like like a Taylor Swift fan, <laughs> but it's like a sexy devil, like, oh. like those like ears that they wear in Mean Girls. And I just, oh, my all... favourite one is the one with Taylor Swift where she goes, look what you made me do. <laughs> oh, I, like, I like it. I think it's funny. I know. Well, I guess because as uh, we as we all get older, our world leaders will have social media presence, won't they? Yeah, like, absolutely. I mean, that's just going to be a, a part of the deal. But like How you said, you would think trust? that they would go back and actually yes. delete some of those things yes. just to make it a little more official, a little like more, Joe Biden know? when he got the job, he went back and deleted all his charcoal etchings. <laughs> <laughs> He's so old. <laughs> <laughs> She's forty-seven. Okay, that makes Is a she? Sense. I did think she was a little older than that. There you go. Yeah. Same. It's pretty good, Not Bella. Defense, but... Is your mum a bit mad on the socials, Bella? Yep. Yep. Oh, cool, right. thank you. Good, good story. <laughs> what, what does she do, Bella? <laughs> um, it's actually about my grandma. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so she's quite a feisty lady. Um, she loves commenting on my photos about how they, they're really bad. Oh, um, nan. Bad, yeah. Oh, she's it's not. a nan thing um, to do, though, isn't it? Telling sometimes she'll she loves to drop um, your butt's looking far too big. You need to <gasps> you need to drop that photo out. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. Um, I've got a few. I dyed my hair auburn when I was about eighteen, and I was told um, usually when people dye their hair, they go from mediocre to good looking, not the other way around. <laughs> oh my no. god! She's roasting you like on She's Comedy brutal. Central. Yeah, is your nan yeah. Joan yeah, Rivers? That's awful. <laughs> Jeffrey Ross. She sounds like, she sounds like my nana. Wow, that's awful. <laughs> well, that's what I, I mean. Old people are either delightful or nasty. I'm on record. Oh, yeah. yeah. There, there's grandma, no in between. <laughs> my grandma used to catfish people. She catfished a guy into taking her onto a cruise. And then once she got on the cruise, she dropped him like a hot sucker. And then never saw him again. <laughs> it's your grandma, Richard Sarah. <laughs> <laughs>
She, she's a real sh- Sarah Muriel. Oh, she was a real sh- Sarah Muriel Creasy. Oh, absolutely. She was up in the Lido deck having a good old time, eating some other guys. Her dance. name was not Muriel. Muriel. Muriel, Muriel Creasy. Creasy. On the Lido deck. What's the Lido yeah. deck? Is that something oh, that I, I think should... It's like, I think it's like the games deck. Oh, okay. Right. Mm. Like the VIP lounge. Yeah. Oh, and Muriel Creasy would be in there with a pina colada and a lot of um, a lot of outdated opinions. Uh, Lily, finally, your mum mad on the socials. What happened? Hey guys. Yeah. So my mum pretty much goes through waves where she'll just share like maybe like five to ten posts a day. It'll be like every. It'll be like every like once a month or a couple of weeks. Like one example was the other day. It was. There's six types of courage, and then it went through physical, social, moral, etc. Hmm. Just talking about, yeah. Different and there's things. no there's method to the madness. You, you just could no. come out, you, you know, never know when it's going to be a social media day for mum. Literally never. And she'll sometimes be like, oh no, I'm deleting social media today, and then they'll all be gone. And then, like, a couple of days later, they'll be back and there'll be more. There'll well, be more well, Lily, at least rest assured you're looking into the future because the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. So, this is going to be you yeah. for future generations. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the call. Kate, Tim, and Joel Nova. Hey, let's do this. I was today is our when 13, 2014. This is when something you just strikes you. You're like, how, how have I got my whole life and not known this before? It's like one of the classic ones is what we all probably learnt way too late in life is the arrow on the petrol bowser in your car shows you which side the nozzle's on. Oh, yeah, that took a really, really long time. Well, I didn't know that. Way, I was really way too old before I went, hang on, that's amazing. And that yeah, every, I, every, mm. if you get in a different car, it doesn't matter. You don't have to get out of the car and walk around and see where it is because no. you can just see it. No. So, no. Really? Mm, or that a rainbow paddle pop is actually caramel flavoured. Yes. So, what? I, I didn't know mm. that. Yeah. Yes. Caramel That's, flavoured. A rainbow paddle pop. The rainbow is not a flavour. It's actually caramel flavoured, a rainbow paddle pop. Mm. This is freaking me out. Today I, I, I love saw it. rainbow paddle pop. Yeah, twenty twenty four ten by the way, get involved. Oh, Do you really, as an adult? Like if that's if that if that if someone came into the studio now and said, "Would you like a rainbow paddle pop?" I'd say yes. yes. But if you went to a shop and you had, I don't know, like all the other ice creams, I'd probably choose a banana one to be honest. Oh, oh yum, banana! I used to love banana Nesquik. See, my kids oh. eat magnums. I'm like, this is you're way too old. For... Oh, your kids are fancy. You're making too much money. Oh, but that's what I mean. I'll have a magnum, thanks. Well, of course you'll have a magnum. Who wouldn't? Yeah, join the club, sister. <laughs> yeah, I know. We all want almond magnums. So they're the ones with the caramel inside of it. Oh, the ego. The no, that's too oh. much. No, the almond mag- magnum is our family's go-to. Of course it is. <laughs> you are such an arm and magnum family. <laughs> really? <laughs> you are actually. If you could find it in like an organic, an organic version of it, that would be your family. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's a bit yeah, full cream for us. Plastic covered, <laughs> alum, yeah. you know, or like a yeah a, bamboo. Yeah. yeah oh yeah, some <laughs> some rubber. stick that disintegrates in your hand because yeah. it's so organic. Yeah, we'll like, we'll wrap ourselves in beads and eat it in Byron. <laughs> <laughs> Drink the rest of it out of the bottom with a paper straw. <laughs> <laughs> and then compost the stick. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, guys. That's um, 13, 24, 10. Yeah, we've summed us up. 13, 24, 10. What, were you, what have you just learned, really, basically? Guys, I was today years old mm. when I mm. found out mm-hmm. what makes sweet and sour sauce sweet. Oh, I'm oh, nervous because okay. I love sweet and sour so sauce. So, hang on. Do we know what makes it sour? Or oh, we don't know that yet? A lot of people think that it's mango or pineapple flavoured. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's mm. not. Oh, what is let's, it? Have, let's have a listen. Sweet and sour sauce, McDonald's. Am I the only one that didn't know what fruit it's made of until today? Have a, have a guess, have a guess. Three, two, one. F***ing apricot. It's, <laughs> it's apricot. F an apricot. It makes so much sense. It is apricot coloured. What's wrong with that lady's hair, can I just say? She looks cooked. Also, that make, but that makes sense because no. you know apricot chicken is one of the classic Chinese dishes. I love apricot but chicken. Does it actually taste like apricot? Yeah, we might need to have to. Maybe we should get some nuggies, and I need I've, to so I can check. I had, I had like twenty of them on the weekend, and so much sweet and sour sauce, but I didn't taste the apricot part. And now my mind is, my tiny little brain is blowing. Yeah, but you I maybe now to... that you know it's apricot, you'll probably taste apricot. Oh. Yeah. Maybe. Like, it's all about packaging, isn't I've it? I've been eating this my whole life. 
don't know what to do. I feel oh, mate. like sweet and sour sauce is part of my identity. <laughs> you got to get on the sweet mustard train. That is the goat of Ooh. Macca sauces. Yeah, you, you tried to throw that in our face the other day. I was like, yeah, I get it. Oh, it's so like... good. I actually salivate when I think about sweet mustard sauce. It's so delicious. I'm actually salivating. <laughs> I need to have a sip of my iced coffee. I'm salivating. <laughs> and the way you're saying salivating is weird. I'm actually salivating. I'm salivating. Me. You're using every I'm syllable. I am salivating. Are you salivating? I am I salivating. Am salivating. Tim, no, are you right. salivating? Are you, I'm not salivating. Should I be salivating? You're salivating. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> okay, good. Should we get nuggets? Yeah, okay. We're okay. getting nuggets. Well, then what do I get in Brizzy? It's a big goozy town. Yeah, yeah. Either have Mexican. <laughs> it's a very big goozy town here. I think the OG goozy is just up the road. <laughs> oh. Is it? Isn't it? <laughs> is that so where they're from, Guzmina Gomez? Oh, I remember when Guzmina Gomez came to Brisbane when I lived here. I'm like, oh my god, have you checked out this new Trattoria? <laughs> 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 it's like Mexican street food, but right here in Brisbane. <laughs> So cool. It's so accessible. Um, okay, oh, so today is uh, Will. What do you got for us? Uh, all the Fruit Loops are the same flavour. No, they're not. <laughs> okay. So, all right. No. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. All the colours are the same flavour. Oh, That's cheeky today buggers. Is <laughs> terrible. This is crazy. Caramel flavoured rainbow puddle pops, apricot flavoured sweet and sour sauce, and what the hell? I don't know. I know. Are you do. salivating? I mean, that's your breakfast and lunch ruined <laughs> with all, that, <laughs> all those facts. What? We're all salivating. Thank you, Will. Kate, Tim, and Joel on Nova. Why'd you get it out? 13, 20, 14. You know how there are some guys that just love getting it out? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're I know talking all about of your those mate. Guys. Oh, yeah, my mate yes. that goes, oh, have you seen me blister? And I'm like, no, where's your blister? He goes, oh, just right here on my stomach. And he lifts his shirt up and it's just the... Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and I don't want to think about blisters in that region. No. Oh, no. Well, it actually like, goes no, up, no, it goes up not, past his belly the... button. Oh, oh, good on him. Word. Good on mm, him. Lucky for some. He must be lucky with the ladies. Well, well, well a, not when he does that col- trick. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, there's a Colombian soccer player. Oh, hang on. Who... Sorry, Colombian soccer player. Hey, um, who, while on the field, to distract mm. the opposition, mm. yeah, he whipped it out. He what? whipped it out. Look at look 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 look. He was at the, the that... a player was about to take a shot oh. at the goal. <laughs> and <then> we, <laughs> is that indecent and exposure? All, and when I don't know, and when they all stand in the line oh, to the try fun and distract them and arrived. like jump up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He, he, whipped out, he whipped it out. Oh, my goodness. The drink wow. trolley's he was, here. I really, Wowee. I really, I really like the commitment. That's unreal. Did a helicopter or what did he do? Windsurfer. Just like, well, I mean, I haven't <laughs> seen the actual video. I've only seen the photo, but he looks quite... He looks quite proud of it, but he just like popped down his. I think all white, three of them would be pretty confident and... to get it out. Look at them; they look like they, they're very confident down there. <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel like yeah, the guy on the right is like, "Oh, you want me to get mine out too?" I oh, know. Wow, I need to start getting into soccer. Yeah, you need to. You got your mm. little your little soccer shorts on today. Are they, are they soccer well, shorts I, or are they? Well, they were, it was a stylistic choice I made earlier today. Um, they look like board shorts, but they're not. They're that cool brand Barney Cools. Oh, yeah. You get it from Maya. Yeah, I know that one. Barney Cool's a barn cool. I think I have a a drinks cooler by that brand. Oh, cool. I'm wearing them too. I have a T-shirt that just says, be cool. Yeah, they're very they're very trendy, but I'm 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 a yeah. hodgepodge of things. I don't know who I am today. It's Wednesday. I'm being a bit of everyone. Are you? Hump day. Yeah. But like your personality generally. It's just, what? you know. Bit like scatty. Bit, yeah, a bit scatty, a bit Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, or is it the oh, other way around? For sure. You don't know who's gonna who's gonna come knocking. Here I am. Either way, he sounds nasal. Hey, Tim and Joel. Where have you been? Absolutely. Sorry, I was just checking on my nuggets order. They are on their way. I was Did you actually I'm, order I'm, I'm them? salivating. Yeah, we can no, you're salivating. Coming. I wanna, you're I wanna salivating. try this apricot um sweet yeah. and sour sauce. Well, maybe I, I thought you might have been going out um, popping out to see if you've been banned from anything because um Ricky yesterday on the show, yeah. it was like it was Christmas in October for us. <gasps> 
I, know, I, op- I opened the news yesterday and I saw what was on there and mm. I thought of you straight away. Yeah, um, we were doing rolling James Corden being banned, being a little piggy coverage yesterday. Oh, yeah, we had wall-to-wall coverage. We were on it. It was Tell like the CNN about, newsroom on election day. Yeah, it's huge. It's now, huge. I know Angela Bishop's gone over to cover this massive story. We can't get hold of her, but we're trying to. <laughs> um, we need a man on the ground. Do we know anyone in New York that would be up now? I mean, come on, let's put our thinking caps on. Like, I, I get mean, it, we're I, all ordering I, sweet and sour sauce, but let's <laughs> maybe think of the show for a sec. Do we know anyone over there that we can get on the phone that would be up at this call? time? My best mate, Ashley. I'll send it. She lives in Brooklyn, but we'll just pretend she's Brooklyn's New York. That's fine. So I just yeah, want to okay. call my best mate, Beyonce. Get yeah, no, I can you imagine? Line. Anyone got the Statue yeah. of Liberty's number? Quickly, get them on the phone. <laughs> her, name's, her name's Ashley. Gemma, I'm sending it to you now. Oh, no, I'm calling her. Have you eaten a Balthazar before, Ricky? I have. Yeah, it's so pretty ma- It's pretty massive. Keith McNally, the owner, has... Well, look, he's reversed his decision to ban James Corden after the comedian apologised. He posted earlier again this afternoon, guys. Are you ready for this? Oh, has he posted again? Yeah, oh, that's what I'm saying. It's a James Corden update, mate. Put okay, your... Okay, sorry. Get your sweet and sour um, goggles off. Can't you see the focus? banner? I was trying to get a, a man on the ground. I'm, I'm let's let's get some brass. Can we get some brass free music? Yeah, kind. Of, this is brass free enough. Hello, welcome to Balthazar. Can I get you your regular <laughs> table? Um, he posted again this afternoon at Balthazar tonight, feeling strange about the James Corden thing. Obviously, he's not British, but I feel like I have to do it like this. On the one hand, he was definitely abusive to my stuff. On the other hand, I feel really sorry for him right now. Like most cowards, I want it both ways. Effort. I'm going to get drunk. <laughs> what an answer. I love he has it. popped what? a bit of backlash yes. for um, for calling James out mm-hmm. and then immediately kind of taking the uh, call out back because mm-hmm. people were was saying, well, no, we like you calling him out because that was you defending your staff and protecting your staff. I actually got sent a TikTok last night and I can't believe I didn't send it to you guys. I'll send it to our girls to maybe get it on after five. But it was all these different reasons that James Corden has been called out as being a bit of a tit. Rob Bryden, who I love, you know him mainly from, from the trip um, yeah. with Steve Coogan. He was he was in Gavin and Stacey with um, James Corden talking yeah, about how he had to pull him aside to say he was getting too big for his boots. Someone uh, there, There's interviews with James Corden from even 15 years ago saying he partied too hard, burnt the candle at both ends and his hangovers would make him a little bit snappy on set. So he started having this kind of grandiose theory about who he really kind of thought he was very early on. Um, he no was way. ratty and irritable constantly. Um, we have something from America's newsroom now in our rolling coverage. Shall we throw to uh, Fox News and Jimmy Falilia? It's like something from the Guzmini Gomez menu. I know. Salivating. <laughs> salivating. <laughs> Jimmy salivating. You play. Oh. Like, I understand James Corden's passion for food as a fellow chubby guy. I am very passionate <laughs> myself. But treating the restaurant staff, okay, poorly, is the lowest thing you can do in society as yes. any person. Yes. It had to be really bad for McNally to out him on this initially because you don't want to alienate celebrities by saying, I'm going to highlight your bad behavior at my restaurant. The fact that he had to means Corden was like next level. Yeah. Wow. I love that that was on Fox News. I know. <laughs> I know. What, what Big day. is going on in the world that that is news? It is no. news because he's no, such a huge act- star. But like actual, actual news. Well, Fox Rude News, some... actual, actual news. Well, you know, you know what it's I mean. It's rolling coverage. <laughs> it's rolling coverage. Yeah. But, yeah. It's I, got, I, it is, but he's, yeah. he's so right. There's no... No matter how famous you are, no matter how successful you are, there is no excuse. Well, especially when you hear the Tom Cruise stories that apparently at the end of a meal he'll order the most expensive bottle of wine, get them to open it, and then that's when he leaves because he knows that the staff get to then enjoy that at the end of the night because they've opened that's it. That's really nice. That kind of makes I do me like that. Tom Cruise. Yeah, I always order a bottle of like um, Bacardi you know, like Yellow Jackets Glen Creek. as I leave, <laughs> and um, I'll leave a little bit in the bottom. How yeah. bizarre. Balthazar. How bizarre. <laughs> Balthazar. How bizarre. Kate, Tim and Joel Nova. It's an age game day. We spun it up on the Wednesday. Will Rose out. Ricky's playing for you today. Hello. Awesome. Hey, how are you guys? Go, Ricky. You've got this. You're going to win. All right. Oh, wow. I hope so. I hope so for you. And then, Lauren, you have Yay. Joel today. Oh, hi, Yay. Lauren. Come on, Joel. Woo. Tim Thanks, says the Lauren. name you say the rage. For example, Madonna. Madonna. Oh, that's a new one. Yeah, we update like them. I like that a lot. For Do we? example, Oof. Madonna. Yeah, well, Dan does. <laughs> yeah, on your Dan. In between, you know, band t-shirts and making things like this. 
<laughs> and busy, busy, busy. Yes. Done. Do I have that? <laughs> I don't have it. Do I have that in Brisbane? Do I have my done? I'll just do it, I'll just do it for you. Done. Ricky can just do it. Oh, that's true. Done. done. There you go. Done. Good. Um, done. Um, guys, <laughs> this is pretty massive. We've got an Amazon Echo uh, show to give away. And it's Taylor Swift's 10th album, Midnight. It's out on Friday. We've decided to do an age game of Taylor Swift songs today. Oh. So you have to tell us how old the song is. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right. Am I texting you the answer? Yeah, you both have to actually. Okay. We're, okay. We're, none of us are in the same state. Isn't that, a, no. isn't that remarkable? Talk. We are straddling the east coast of this country. Yeah, that's, that's right. I'm up here mm. at the, in the top and the tip. Um, yeah. You're in the middle there, Ricky. I'm in the middle. You're just... down in the bum, Joel. <laughs> oh, I'm the bottom. Okay. <laughs> you're the chilly, Try not windy to be too bottom. Powerful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to start with this one. You Belong With Me, Taylor Swift, from her second album, Fearless. One album of the year and best country album at the Grammys. Come on. I have, it's young. She's been around a long time. I have no idea when she even started her career. No. And I'm trying to, like, gauge it to when I was releasing songs to be thinking, like, is it around then? Oh, yeah, good strategy. Make it about you. Good strategy. Yeah. Yeah. Always. <laughs> I'm trying to think <laughs> back when I was like a gauge. DJ. No, because it's usually my competition. Like, I'm thinking, okay, this person's got that song around that time. Where okay. do you stand then on the whole Grammys controversy, Ricky? This is a serious question. How can you win Best Country Album? And, mm. like, well, I guess... No, this is... No, I'm now trying to get another story and trying to crowbar it into Taylor Swift. Drake was annoyed because he won Rap Single of the Year or something for, as he says, his most poppy song ever. But they just had nowhere that they could fit him in. You know? Okay. Uh, yes. This is maybe an off-air question for you. I'm still, I'm still trying to... The Grammys is on the, the nose, question. is what I'm saying, and it's a bit confusing. That's all. I think so. Yeah. I, think, I think across the board, that's what people feel. I There's you... lots of people that don't respect the Grammys because of that. I need you guys to tell me how old the song is, not give me a, a year. Like, you oh. Know. oh, okay. <laughs> and I, I, I know right. that, that, that would also make, year. mean that I that have to work it out. That requires a bit of math. That requires a bit of math. What year is it? Was... 2022. Okay. All right. Oh. Lodging my answer now. Okay, good. Oh, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> oh, I actually yeah. had to do some math on my do page. You have to do it. Okay, hang on. Oh, okay, no. well, Joel's in. I think I've done quite well, given I have no idea when her career started. Oh. <laughs> okay, the sorry, I'm sorry. Here we go. From the cans. Oh, no, is the so feedback funny. is ridiculous. Someone should have reminded me to pack my headphones. I oh, know. I don't Gosh, think, it, yes. I think it might be mine. Uh, it's okay, close go. without going oh. over, best of three. Uh, you're in, Ricky. You said 2005. Which would make it 16 years old. Is that right? I think 17. And then... I think I'm bad at math. Joel, you said 2014, which is eight years old. Yeah, I've stuffed it. Oh. Or I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> well, hang on. This is so confusing. Well, actually, Joel, you're right, even though you're the furthest away. But it's close without going over. It was 14 years old, 2008. Oh. So, Joel, you get the point. Oh, oh, I said right. 2005. Thank you. What did you say? Close without going over, babe. Close without going over. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah this is confusing. It. Don't worry. It's, yeah. confusing it's so confusing. <laughs> this is a good idea happening. at the time when I was driving from Gold Coast to Brisbane. Okay, um, our favourite. Everything's a good idea when you're driving from Gold Coast to Brisbane. <laughs> yeah, Yatla Pies. Yes, thanks. Oh, you got to get one of those. Can I do that on the way home, even though I'm going out for dinner? I can probably no, do that. No, I think that. it'll be shot. Oh, we have right. to do it tomorrow on the way. Wet blanket. Um, <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> there's still the pies in there. Today? <laughs> Probably. Okay. It's our favourite. How old oh. is this? It's our favourite. It's from her oh. 1989 album. The song's rumoured to be about Harry Styles. I bought this album when I was living with my ex and we loved it and we played it all the time together. How old was I dating him? I was living him? when this song came out. When was I dating him? <laughs> This is all for Taylor's album, Don't Forget Midnight. It's out Friday. Uh, while we're talking albums out Friday, so is Arctic Monkeys. New album, The Car, Huge. comes out Friday as well. Huge. Oh, I can't Big wait. Big day. I've lodged my answer. Same. Okay. This is good. Joel, where, where, are, you, where are you? Oh. I still don't understand the rules of the game, but... No, well, you've done well. You've I've both done well. Out. Joel, you've said seven years old. Ricky, mm-hmm. you've said eight years old. As a 2014 release, Ricky, you are spot on. Oh, 
this for the win. Okay. Think about this. Think okay. about the full question before you think you jump in, okay? Okay. okay. Just think about it. Let me get my maths out. Yes. It's... Oh, not that one. It's... Oh. It's love story... But wait. It's love story, brackets, Taylor's version. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, what does that mean? Why Just are you so excited? Your, Just go with your gut, Joel. Go with your gut, mate. <laughs> okay, I will. I feel like this is a trick question and you guys are trying to slip me up. Well, it is a trick question. Lodge my answer. Okay. <laughs> Am I on to you? <laughs> you both got it. It's one years old. <laughs> <laughs> one year old? One year old, you idiot, Tim. Why is it only one um, year old? Because it's Taylor's version. And she, because we are so remember, late, I haven't asked permission yet, but Rosa and Lauren, you both won. You both got yourself an Amazon Woo! Echo show. Congratulations. Awesome. Oh, well done. Well done. And congratulations. Taylor's the real winner. Oh, she re-recorded them, didn't she? She yes. re-recorded so she can own her masters and now she makes all of the cash. Oh, I'm with you now. All of the cash. Kate, Tim and Joel is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.